staffers, there's probably a couple of people like Mark, you, you know that you work here, it's okay, you can relax. <laughs> and um, just like being able to see like the, where the airlock was and just everything. Like uh, um, when I knew people, sometimes I'd go up, well, that happened a couple of times during that year, 11 months, yeah. and days, but who's counting? Um, <laughs> I, I'd go up to the dressing rooms. I'd go up to the dressing rooms to say hi if I knew someone on the show. And um, that, just everything in my mind, I'm like, I just wanted the answers. Um, what, how does it, this all work? How does this all come together? And um, it was really, I mean, it was exciting for, for, a, for a long time. The work itself was draining. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I can talk about it, it's boring, but at the end of the day, we were all just completely exhausted. It would be a 10 hour day, which isn't bad. Like lots of people work 10 hour days, but it was just, it was very- Yeah, but your mind is on that entire 10 hours. You're going, right? Like well, the, the machine's never, never stopping at that point though. We were on the phones and the yeah. phones, sometimes people had tickets were calling us and literally there were times where there was an hour wait where they, people would have to be on an hour to get to us. We try not to do that. Sometimes it was a 10 minute wait. Yeah. Um, and it was like, it was just constant. And then people not happy that they had to wait all that time. But it was like, if you wanted to, get a drink or go to the, I mean, it was like, and then it was just so much enthusiasm that you had to show to these people. Yeah. And it just, um, it was, yeah, it, that, it was, tra I, for me personally and everyone else, I think just by the end, we were, were drained from the a 10 hour day of doing that. And then, um, I mean, every, but everything else other than that, I did, I pretty much enjoyed. I just remember like the, being at the last anniversary show they ever did the fifth, the fifth yep. um, anniversary in CBS. I just remember after, Facing the stage, I was by the, the doors um, all the way to, I guess, would have been the, yeah, the left. Um, so you were watching that as a staff member? I had thought that staff members weren't supposed to watch they the are. show. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> no, you know what? Okay, I actually have this wrong, and I'll tell you what I did. If, I, if the audience department, they would let watch, but no. Oh, I mean, okay, tons of that people, was the secret. No, they would like the staff, unless you were Lori Diamond or, or Heather, one of Dave's assistants, or um, Eddie Brill or Bill Schaft. No, you couldn't. Yeah. I mean, there were people that didn't get to go to see the show that worked there for years until the final show. And they went down and never had seen the show before. So Arthur Kelly and I talked about that. I mean, Arthur yeah. answered the phones on Dave's floor for know, yeah. forever. And 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 yeah, he, he saw very few shows except for the ones that he was actually in. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it was just very different. I mean, Dave just would always, and this includes the audience, it would throw him off, he, he said, apparently, if he saw somebody he knew. And it was always like, if you worked on the show, you were never allowed to be in the, come back to be in the audience. If he, he just didn't want to see anyone that would possibly throw him off. I actually watched the fifth from the balcony mainly. And that's, I remember that so well. That was such an incredible show. I love that anniversary. But the it's one I was show? Thinking, what? Clip show, right? Yeah, it was like Larry Bud Melman in yeah. memory. Um, and then he comes, <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> Um, right. Yeah, I think it was Seinfeld. I'm pretty, was it Seinfeld that came out for the walk on? In, oh. in the I think it was Seinfeld. But oh, it was like this top me. 10 list where it was like every celebrity, every like A lister after A lister. And one was DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio. And that, that gentleman, you probably know his name. He was like the large, um, bald gentleman who they would put on sometimes. He was, yeah, big and he just. No, you're talking he, about. Um, Thing. Yep. He came on <laughs> as one, but it was just, you had to be there. It was incredible. I was thinking, because um, sometimes I'd be by the double doors. I remember there was um, another taping that I was just thinking about, which is when the Jay Giles band was on. Um, and they, I don't think that they, they were making a comeback or hadn't done an appearance, but they played like Centerfold or some song that like everyone in the audience knew. I just remember like dancing around and everyone that, but I was there for that on the side. I mean, I would go in when I wanted to. If there's somebody I wanted to see, right. um, I would do that. And a lot of times after the um, after the Thursday, the first taping, I could, well, if I wanted to, and I would try to, I'd always go to the balcony for the second show and watch. Um, I mean, sometimes I was a little tired or whatever, but um, most of the time I would try to go up there and, and watch it. Cause I'm like, how many people get to do this? Yeah. Overcoat and underpants.